What's up YouTube Universe and welcome back to OMZ2. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the MCI Contemporary because apparently there's a CL version in progress so let's look at the CT first because it's kinda kinda gonna give us a preview as to what the CL is gonna look like. Obviously most people have this problem right here but looking into this problem I noticed that there's an even bigger problem that we, should, we have like completely missed. Alright, you see how wide this space is and then how wide this door next to it is? I think that's the proper window sizes for the, seat, uh, the 45 foot model. Because these windows seem to be very spread out and it, and it looks more like a 40 foot because of it. So I think the windows are very close together. That should be looked at. Another problem, I don't, I'm not really sure, but I think these black boxes aren't supposed to be there. If they are supposed to be there, Make them optional. Because, uh, they're an eyesore. I'd say everything else seems fine, though. Everything else in the model seems fine. Let's look at the driver view. The driver view, it's fine. Ish. Yeah, it's fine. It's actually, it's actually very fine. A little bit of stuff missing up here, though, but. But yeah, it's fine. And the doors, I really can't tell the doors until I open them. But at least all the controls are here. And there's no visible gaps in the driver view. So, that's a plus. Alright, back view. Uh, yeah, this is fine too. This is actually very well done. There's no gaps, and everything's a different texture, it seems like. And the floor stands out. Yeah, this is very well done. This, this, this vehicle is very well done. Right, let's go back to the driver view. I even like that he added this then. And then it has the fair, same fare box as the um, Excelsior. Or the fare box control anyway. So yeah, overall, this vehicle is very nice. Like, it looks nice anyway. Very well thought out. Let's go for a little drive. A little bit of a speed challenge because this vehicle doesn't stop because I messed it up. Oh yeah, that's a problem with this vehicle. I completely forgot about that. Oh my god, I completely forgot about the fact that it's very heavy. Like, I know my computer's weak. I'm not going to pretend like I have the strongest one in the world. But the way the MCI runs on it just emphasizes the fact that the computer's not the strongest in the world. It's like a reminder, like, hey, by the way, your computer sucks. Stop. Stop in the name of the law! You're under arrest if you don't stop jumping! Okay, I really can't stop. I'm stuck going forever. It's speed! Speed the Omni! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Outside of it being this heavy, loud. Outside of it being this heavy, though, it's it's not bad. I would recommend it. Girl, you're out of here. I would recommend the vehicle to anybody who doesn't have a weak computer like me. But yeah. So outside of that little jump fest, this vehicle is very nice, it's very well detailed and it has all the important stuff. The only issue I would have with it is is how heavy it is on, on weaker computers like mine. And I feel like this, this spacing on the little dashboard thingies could be a little more thoughtful. Like you see what I mean? Like some of the dashboard things are too like too defined 
I feel like they shouldn't be, but I don't, I don't have really seen an MCI dashboard to know whether or not that's the case. But yeah, otherwise, the vehicle's great. Like, yeah, like, like if you want it, get it. Like, get it and run with it. It's amazing. It's detail and it's a coach bus. Like, what else do you want? So yeah, definitely don't get this if your computer, if you, if you, if you can barely run OMSI, don't get this vehicle, okay? Because it's heavy. It's not, it's not, it's not light on the frames at all. But if you could run it just fine, like if you get at least 30 regularly, without like, without lag spots, so you get at least 30, then you could, you, you should get this because it's detailed, it's great, and it's pretty much the only one of its kind until the C, the CL comes out. So it's like, yeah, pretty, pretty high standard vehicle. Naturally, of course, it'll be heavy on the frame because it's very, very detailed my weak computer anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time oh my goodness gracious peace out